Hackett here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. Building up our forces, slowly but surely. Seeing our old friends in all sorts of random locations, ex Cerberus, scientists. Despite the lavish perks, people began to worry for their safety and about the ethical ramifications of their work. Now they're gonna help on the Crucible. Dr. Bryn Cole, by herself, is 25. Wow. She is like a leader here. And then Dr. Gavin Archer, another 25. Not sure if I want him, but hey, if he's gonna help, sure, I guess. Well-known synthetic intelligence specialist from Terra Nova, who disappeared years ago to work with Cerberus. Eh, if you're gonna help, sure. Jacob. After helping Commander Shepard destroy the Collectors, Jacob Taylor cut his ties with Cerberus. He joined the war following an attack on a safe house for former Cerberus operatives, where he was hiding out. Jacob turned down formal reinstatement into the Alliance Marine Corps, feeling his past with Cerberus disqualified him from their company. Taylor is instead a consultant, advising the Alliance on Cerberus tactics and defenses. He also participates in missions that target the elusive man's holdings. Okay. Engineers. Kelly's friends. Kelly's friends are worth less than these people individually. <laughs> well, hey, every little bit counts, you know? It's not about the number. Maybe. Crucible, Element Zero Converter, 50. Element Zero refineries are large industrial facilities that remove impurities from the element before it's used as fuel. Very important process. Hmm, we can supply fuel in record time. Emergency fuel pods, we just found them lying around in the galaxy. Now repurposed for the Crucible. Oh man, this Crucible better... What if it doesn't... Oh my god, don't even say that. Don't even say it. Don't. It's our only hope right now. It's kind of sketchy, but it's all we've got. Asari cruiser and a frame. Oh, do all, all Asari ships look like this? This sort of like Destiny Ascension shape. It's, um, interesting. Yeah, I just don't understand, like, tactically. What advantage does this sort of shape give? Named for a lost city said to be buried in ice in Thessia's South Pole. Ah, this... this ship was in the Battle of the Citadel. Research ships. The Asari scientists in Orisoni. Mm-hmm. They've been doing a lot of good research for the Crucible's venting chambers. Saibane. Saibane? Oh, no, no, this is just a gen generic picture. Maybe they don't all look like that. Okay. It's got very unusually robust engines providing lots of energies. Energies, energy, Asari engineers. Testing the Crucible's construction to make sure it can withstand tremendous amounts of pressure. Is it one giant shot or is it going to be like a multi-shot weapon where we might end up killing 10 Reapers and then they're like, oh no, they have the Crucible, let's destroy it. And then they do, and then we're screwed. <laughs> we're just making one, right? That's my understanding. Alliance Engineer Corps. Hmm... <laughs> They've got a lot of funding. 103rd Marine Division. Oh, Shepard's interview with Diana Allers improved morale. Good, good, good. I just figured you'd be more sympathetic to someone joining Cerberus. You've never been big on aliens. Yeah. I enlisted to kick ass, just like everyone else. But I need a better reason than it has scales to go kill somebody. And if Cerberus is taking our dishonorable discharges and Cat-6 washouts, that's just one more reason they're not worth a damn. Yeah, they're, they're dishonorably discharged for a reason. Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. 
The Cerberus scientists are safe with the Alliance. The Brass thinks they'll be a big help on the Crucible. First Grissom Academy, now this. Nice work. You know how fighter pilots put those little stamp things under their cockpits for each kill? I'm thinking of getting one by the galaxy map every time I analyze the crap out of some data. Feel free. You turn it into a regular Marine. Yes, well, I guess you're rubbing off on me. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. It feels good to bring someone out alive. Yeah, keep uh, keep raising your voice, letting me know. I'm, I don't want to be the kind of boss that's that people are afraid of, to the point that they're not even going to tell us stuff that they know. Commander. Good, good, good. Memorial from Ashley Williams. Shepard, my sister got everything set up at the Citadel Memorial. She showed me what she's going to put up on the wall. It's nice. I wish I could do something to make this easier for her. She wants me to say something about our family. I know you're busy, but it would mean a lot if you could be there. Okay. Yeah, uh, her sister's husband passed away. Found something, Miranda. Shepard, I discovered a few things about my sister. It's bad, but there's something else going on. I'm back on the Citadel. I'll find a place to meet and send you a nav point when you get here. Okay, reasons to go back already? Take a break from Garrus. Shepard, I thought the next time we're at the Citadel, maybe we could take a break. Can't fight a war without a little R&R &R once in a while. I'll be hanging around CSEC near the shuttles if you're interested. Okay. Garrus? Getting away from work from Liara. Shepard, <laughs> I need an excuse to tear myself away from all these monitors. Come see me the next time we dock on the Citadel. Okay. From Javik, visiting the Citadel. Commander, I find this messaging system to be outdated and clumsy. I assumed Specialist Trainer was joking when she said I had to type letters to form words. I want to visit the Citadel the next time we travel there. In my lifetime, it had been captured by the Reapers. If you would like to join me, I will be in the area where the embassies are located. I believe this concept of galactic control shared among races is a lie. Okay, Javik. Brings back memories from Garrus. Glad we got Jacob out of there, okay? Thought we might be doing a replay of my siege on Omega for a bit there. Hmm. Boom, from Jack. Just blew up an entire Reaper base. Brought the whole thing down. Reminding me of you. <laughs> How rom- If we were dating, this would be so romantic. <laughs> okay. Everybody and their mother is telling me to go back to the Citadel already. We've been away for like what? One mission? Basically? How you guys doing? How's Jacob? He'll be okay. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Nice to see those Cerberus scientists come to their senses. After everything he's done, the elusive man can't pretend he's fighting for humanity. Anyone who isn't indoctrinated has to see that by now. Glad we got out early. Hmm. Commander? What's on your mind, Edie? Liara recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe, or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area. A bubble, if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. I am speculating whether, if you went far enough out or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one equaled three. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying math of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> hey, maybe escaping to a different universe. That's one way to get away from the Reapers. Hello, Shepard. Hmm. Liara, go freaking research something a bit more practical, please. I don't think we have time for this. <laughs> Alternate universes, huh? Garrus mentioned something about you two having some fun next time you're on the Citadel. Don't get into trouble. <laughs> yes, Mom. Okay. Hey. Bad dog. Bad dog. Good dog. <laughs> it changes every time. Hey, where are you guys? James is not here. Surprisingly enough. The munitions you carry into the field deserve at least a triple check. Yeah. Shuttle's primed for the next drop. Shuttle's primed for the next drop. I'm not the one doing that, right? You're the one doing that? Somebody here is doing that? Hopefully. Oh god, Allers. Ugh, I'm falling down tired. I need a folding chair or something. You actually don't even... Yeah, you have a chair here. You can sit down. <laughs> You're standing all the time. 
I talked with Williams. Between the 212, Horizon, and the Council's other guards, it's like death just follows her around. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. It's a little bit of, um, maybe like a, some kind of a perception bias, because you're the only one who ends up still being alive after the war is continuing still, so obviously you'll be seeing a lot of death, because you're alive to see it. Commander. Nothing to report. Shepard. You and this human called Jacob were both part of Cerberus. That is correct. And Cerberus is filled with traitors to humanity. Yes, they oppose us in this war. Then why should we trust either of you? We have severed our ties with the organization. But you were programmed by Cerberus. I can extrapolate where this is going. I have superseded my original programming and have chosen to oppose Cerberus. You mean you have chosen to oppose your creators? Correct. I find this a very troubling freedom machine. That is all. Well, we know what Javi thinks about the Geth and the Quarians. Those humans you saved were fortunate. There are still places in the galaxy to hide. Our refugees perished. There was nowhere left to run. I trust you, Commander, when you say you no longer expedite Cerberus's goals. Otherwise... Perhaps later, Commander. I don't know if Cerberus... We're thinking of them as being indoctrinated now, but like how much at the very top? Is that where it starts? Because maybe there's some sane... Well, I don't know how sane they are if they want to follow the Reapers willingly. But maybe there's some sane people around who consciously decided, okay, we're gonna be doing this. We're gonna go against the system's alliance. And then in their view, they wouldn't be traitors to humanity. They would probably actually think they're the saviors. Just like how Saren. Basically, Saren used to think that, hey, we gotta team up with the Reapers because I'd rather be an alive slave than a dead free person. That was sort of Saren's whole thing. How's it going? We got lucky down there, Commander. Civilians, children, could have been very bad. I don't even want to think about it. But scooping the scientists right from under the elusive man's nose, that's gotta piss him off. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad that Jacob guy is gonna be alright. I hope we can trust a bunch of ex Cerberus. Just saying. <laughs> Commander. Say it to somebody else, not me. Okay. Nobody here. Oops. You don't even speak. Are you sure you want to play this game? What's the matter, Vicarian? You chicken? I don't even know what that is. Though I've heard everything in the galaxy taste like it. You probably taste but like if it. If you're suggesting I'm scared, game on, Vega. Age before wisdom. Okay. Back in my CSEC days, I busted a Batarian spy ring that was trying to assassinate a counselor. Please, I fought off a dozen angry Batarians on Omega single-handedly. Used one of them as a landing pad off a three-story jump. <laughs> Just warming up, seeing what you had now. I tracked down this guy, Saren. Stopped him from raising a Geth army and unleashing the Reapers three years ago. Doesn't count, you did that with Shepard. You're right, I was with Shepard from the very beginning. Oh. That just means you're old. <laughs> you guys done? I'm glad Jacob saw through the elusive man. At least not everyone in Cerberus has lost their mind. This fight can use him. He was never really that Cerberus-y. He was kind of like, I'm just here until the next thing comes along. Don't mind us, just telling James here what it means to be a real soldier. Oh, you hear that, James? Maybe later. Hey, Commander. Well, they are both the best of the best. Hey, Commander. James going into N7 and then Garrus was also a candidate for... Uh, Spectre training, was it? Back in 1? He mentioned it offhandedly. It would help all involved if you could barter a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel refugees. Okay! Speak to Tactus. You should be able to find him near the docks. Okay, okay, Still I will. Still think you can win this, huh? I can do this all day, Scars. 
Funny you mention those. Ever hear the name Archangel? I might have. You know you have. I'm Archangel. <laughs> maybe I heard something about that too. Hmm. Then maybe you also heard that for a couple months there, the crime rate on Omega mysteriously dropped while Archangel did a little house cleaning. So you ran a cleaning service on Omega? Back on Fell Prime, I uncovered a pair of harvesters. Had to kill him by myself. Two worm necks, that's almost impressive. Oh, that's not even the best part. They left behind an egg. It hatched, and I trained it to let me fly it. Really? <laughs> the Alliance teach you to make up crap like that, or did you figure it out all by yourself? It's a gift. That does sound a little bit improbable, James. Oh, if I walk far enough away, will you give me another one? Anybody here? Any powers I want to redo? Not at the moment, I'd say. Why is this all zero? Is it supposed to be zero? It just seems weird why there's even a cost here, if it's all zero anyway. Oops. Yeah, I'm okay with armor or piercing ammo, but maybe I should try some warp ammo? I have warp already. I'm okay. You've been through a lot, Scars. You giving up? Nah, I got more. Just don't like to talk about it. Fair enough. We've all got one of those. Just one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Not every story has a happy ending. Except there was this one time I teamed up with a Turian named Garrus Vicarian. He was pretty good with a gun, but he thought he was some kind of hotshot. Yeah. Yeah, I knew this wise-ass marine named Jimmy Vega. Sounds like a pole dancer on Omega. Always oh. <laughs> got on my nerves. But the kid was all right. Had guts when it counted. And together they cured the genophage. And stopped Cerberus Aww. from taking over the Citadel. And finally kicked the Reapers from this galaxy and into the next. With a little help from their friends. Nah, it was just us. <laughs> but mostly me. That's a spirit, guys. Nice, nice. Gotta do a loop around here. Maybe after Liara? Have we heard from Agent Detrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the Loas relay. Oh no. God, it's kind of amazing how Liara just picked up everything off the previous Shadow Broker. No training, no lead up to it, she just did it. Email from Jacob Taylor to Dr. Bryn Cole. I miss you, Bryn, but I'm glad you're back there. The fighting's gonna get tough when we push out with the Crucible. I've gotten the cold shoulder from people who know I used to work for Cerberus. Can't say I blame them, especially after what happened on the Citadel. I've been able to teach other soldiers how Cerberus fights, though. They may be wearing new equipment, but I know their tactics. I love you, Bryn. Take care of yourself. This is private. Perhaps we can talk later. Okay. At your service. You guys good? Hey, Commander. Maybe later. Stay out of trouble. Mm-hmm. Liara... Ashley. Ashley feels a, a little bit lonely just sitting on the couch there by herself. Uh, nobody I need to invite anymore, right? I don't think so. I mentioned something about possibly meeting you on the Citadel next time you're there. God, we're always already on the ship. Why are you guys all so clingy? <laughs> Goodness. I will go back to the Citadel once we collect more random stuff around here, okay? I'm pretty sure we haven't even collected half of the stuff that people want us to get. Any assets here? No, because it is the system of a bigger quest. Okay. Okay. Oh, 100%. Right, this is one of the ones where we already collected everything. Mm-hmm. Investigate a sorry colony. We could do that. Yeah, we'll leave the quarians for a little bit later. Oh, the Grissom Academy is gone entirely. There was one here, right? Yep, 
Ja, okay. Asari Colony. I found something. <laughs> They're already here. Six fifty, that's a lot. Twenty five. Oh no, there's more. That's a lot of fuel. Oh, both of them are right there. Evasion successful. Okay. Um, I'll be back. A guy. Oh, that's a lot of vowels. It's all vowels. Whoa! What? There's like two. Signal confirmed. It's almost like there's two planets here. Uh, two suns. It's an orange dwarf star, the cool companion to Agayo. A yellow white F star, F class star, that is a primary source of mass and light in the system. It's like the little baby cousin. Carcosa. There are some palatial ruins on its barren surface, likely the seat of an ancient city from over 2.7 million years ago. There is evidence that the people of Carcosa polluted their planet until it became uninhabitable, triggering a runaway greenhouse effect and spoiling the planet's fresh water supply. Research into the planet's long history will have to wait. Asari scientists are busy with the Reapers! Us with everybody else. We usually, when we think of ancient people, we think of Protheans, but outside of that, there's still so many other people that we just don't know too much about. Library of Asha. 100. That is it. Now, if I try to go over there, I might run out of fuel. Let's see. Can we find fuel around here? Reapers might not come here. Yeah. Well, normally I'd want to do that first, but the round trip is going to take even more fuel, so let's go to Lessus here. Ah, oh, Lessus, hold on. Lessus. Jellix, the second planet Jellix. in the Arai system, is a marginally habitable world of mountains and ice. The planet was turned into a human penal colony upon its discovery in 2161. But its prison shut in 2179 after racking up the worst safety records in the system's alliance. Lawsuits are still in the courts. Shortly after the closure of the prisons, a handful of intergalactic corporations moved in to set up mines, supply depots, and other facilities on the planet. Prisons here. An unremarkable world located far from regularly traveled trade routes Lessus is inhabited only by a small Asari colony. The main feature is a monastery that houses a large population of Asari with active or latent Ardot Yakshi genes. Oh! A disorder that causes the death of anyone who mates with the afflicted Asari. Although some of the colonists exiled themselves voluntarily, many were sent to Lessus by their families to protect society from their deadly potential. The monastery emphasizes individual sacrifice for the good of the community. Latent Ardot Yakshi, as well as active sufferers who show that they can control their condition, may be offered a chance to reintegrate into Asari society after spending sufficient time on Lessus. Active Ardot Yakshi, whose psychological profiles show capacity for neither empathy nor re-education, are confined to the monastery for life. I'm pretty sure Liara didn't say any of this to me. She just said that some Asari people said, hey, can you go check this out and help us? So this is the monastery, which means we might see Samara or her daughters at the minimum. God, which one is it? <laughs> There's so much! There's... Oh. Okay, we got the library here. Yeah. Oh my dear god, I don't even know. I just want to see what Liara said about it to begin with, but I, uh... I'm sure it's here somewhere, I just don't see it. Ah, this one, right? Misana? 
Distress signal? Asari High Command has requested help dealing with a distress signal on an Asari colony. Is that the same one? Oh, I guess we find out. Yeah, Masana. Yeah. Lessus is an unpopular garden world with characteristics just outside of the comfort zone of its Asari population. Its gravity is a little too high, diseases a little too virulent, and soil inhospitable for growing food. Further information is hard to come by because it is very silent from the Asari government. They don't give much information about it because it's the monastery. They don't want people coming here anyway. Population unknown. Very old colony though. I think Liara is a pretty much given. Edie might be able to give us some encyclopedic knowledge on this, I don't know. Liara kind of fills that role too, so I don't know. Maybe we'll just get a whole bunch of explanations today. <laughs> hmm. Ah, I didn't give you the... The thing with the stuff. You want damage? You want accuracy? High caliber barrel. Oh, increases damage by 20%. Oh, I already... I'm already using it. Here you go. Oh, but you guys are the same. Yeah, you guys are like lightweight, more power-reliant people, I guess. 10. 10. Warp. Increases damage by 40%, duration by 60%. Nope. And then... How many points? Oh, not enough points. I can try to... Do something else. Squad mates gain your ammo power at 50% effectiveness, making my squad stronger, or increase health and armor damage by 6%. Hmm... I don't actually know how effective my squad mates are. I want to help them, but I feel like... I... Uh, hold off on the points. Hold off on the points. Overload. Decoy. But you always put it in front of me though, that's not helpful. Increase damage, overload. Hit one additional target. Liara. Stasis. Unleash stasis bubble to trap enemies that walk into it. Increases all damage done to target by 50%. Um... This one seems fun. Let's see some bubbles. And then even after that, three points. Yes. Okay. Dig up any information on the mission, Liara? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. You know Morinth? These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. That is less than encouraging. What were the commandos' orders? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. That's so sad though, they didn't choose to be born like this. A shame, a source of shame, imagine how they feel. Just look at Samara's kids. We've seen some letters from them back in the Shadow Broker Terminal, and they don't seem happy at all. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Yardat Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here. Looks like it's another cold planet. Cold and dreary monastery. Mm hmm. The C 111 Skyline shuttle is exuding heat. 
indicating recent use. Somebody else is here? Maybe it's Samara. Oh, this place is pretty though. Pretty cold. I can't imagine... I know Samara is a Justicar now, but if she can't win that somebody wants to destroy the place where her... her two daughters from her previous life, quote-unquote, are being... Like, you know, people want to destroy it, I don't think she'd just sit by and do nothing. Elevator disabled. To prevent entry or escape, I wonder. Plus, being a Justicar, if there's some Aragachi escaping here, then she has to come. Regardless of if it has to do with her daughters or not. That vocalization exceeds a sorry vocal cord range. As do those. Okay, great. <coughs> hey, have we seen the Reaper version of Asari's yet? We've seen the, the Marauders, the Turians. A reminder, students are not allowed to visit each other's quarters or to meet in rooms unsupervised by staff. Students are also forbidden from extranet and communication without approval by senior staff members. There are no exceptions to these rules. First offenders will have their free time revoked for a month. Further violations will be met with confinement. Our monastery is our shelter. For it to remain that way, we must make sacrifices. If we do this, I have faith we can continue to enjoy the order and peace this place has given us. Matriarch Galley. What was that? Stay sharp. I know, I heard that too. I heard something. That was my fault, sorry. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm just wondering which way is the right way to go. Hold on, is there a way here or...? Ooh. Okay, maybe let's check out this side first. Melee Stunner. Galley's electronic signature. Some type of intel? The Matriarch's signature? Is someone forging something here? Oh, forging a distress signal? <coughs> mm. These are cannibals. Those are probably also cannibals. Or worse. Oh, <laughs> for a second, I thought we were gonna have to do those mini-game puzzles when I looked at this. Oh, bad memories. To our staff and students, attach is our new daily schedule. Please note that the wake-up time has been moved forward 15 minutes. Floor wardens can download chore lists later this week. Please see Matriarch, Galley, or myself if you have any questions or concerns. Sincerely, Superintendent Jethra. Oh my god, waking up at 5.30 every day! And then, okay, 50 minutes to wake up and then, you know, brush your teeth. And then breakfast for half an hour. Morning meditation for almost two hours. Studying god knows what for two hours. Chores for another two hours, and it's only been noon so far. That's like what I do in an entire day, man! <laughs> Midday meal, 45 minutes. Classes until 5. And then studying after that and then supper, and then evening meditation, and then free period. Ah, oh, so they only get two hours free every single day. And by free, I mean like, you know, they get to wander around the common room maybe, but no internet, no extranet, no outside contact. Hmm. I think back in the Shadow Broker Terminal, they were mentioning that the people living in the monastery have like a limited amount of... They can call outside which is how one of the daughters reached Samara. But then it was like once a month or something crazy limited like that. It's seen as a privilege, not a right. This was the Commando's captain. It seems they gave their lives fighting the Reapers. This monastery's out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Ardat Yakshi? They want them. Anything useful? 
A floor plan marked with a nav point location for a bomb. It's planted inside the monastery's great hall. So the commandos started the purge after all. I understand where it comes from, but it's kind of... It's worse than the genophage. You're not just... Not letting them give birth, which they already can't, by the nature of the Ardagyakshi disease. It's eliminating people who didn't ask to be born like this. Ardagyakshi or not, evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. The Reapers want Ardak Yachi. If they're such good fighters, of course they'd want them. Oh god, the door's broken. Get ready, guys. Oh, I walked away. Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Hey! Samara? It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. Two of my daughters live here, and I have come for them. In what capacity? Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. Yeah, are you coming to save them, or are you coming to put them down? I almost don't want to ask. You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Mm. Valera and Rhea have followed the monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. They normally have no inclination towards violence, but what about indoctrination? We still have to be on guard. That was a bit of an insensitive way of Shepard, you know, mentioning the whole thing. Hey, are your daughters just as violent as your other daughter that we killed together? Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait! Let's go. Seeing Samara and then having all of our squad mates today be female, well, you know, As Asaris are not really female, blah blah blah, you know, but you know what I mean. It suddenly feels like there's a softer touch to the whole thing, especially since all the Asari we're seeing today are also going to be female presenting. Oh no. Asked her to go to the Citadel and tell Weshra I love her. Tell her. Sorry we fought. I was an idiot. Didn't mean any of it, Weshra. What? Want you to have everything of mine, okay? Love you. I love you so. <gasps> oh no, was this the is this the bondmate of that one woman who was Talking to the embassy clerk. Oh no. Oh no. Why do we always have to be the bearer of bad news? This was likely the Reaper's initial attack site. Think the monastery got any warning? Few signs of resistance. I'd say very little warning. 
such a remote colony in the middle of nowhere that the Asari government usually doesn't even talk about, and the Reapers found it. No doubt because they're looking for Ardak Yakshi specifically. Let's get ready, this looks like a battlefield. Oh yeah, this is a battlefield. Just gonna have a look around. Goddess, what was that? I don't know. Oh god! <gasps> well the bear Oh god! Hold on! Wait. Um. Oh. Excuse me. Um. That's a lot of barrier and armor. Oh my god. No, we gotta go. We gotta go. Oh my god. That wasn't the only one. Oh my god. Oh no. Look at how long it took us for, to get rid of that. Holy crap. I was not... Oh no. Oh no. Wow, okay. They have a barrier and a shield, and the barrier doesn't even go away with one overload. That's a problem. Don't go away. Oh, remember, me and Liara, we have the throw combo. Come on. Oh god, I can barely I'm on it. Come on, throw right away. That used to be a person. An Asari. What have the Reapers done? <sighs> I'm not a fan of that. <sighs> Should we read about it right now, actually? Oh my god, holy crap, that was scary. The Reaper called Harbinger is Banshees are the corrupted Asari oh. often found leading a Reaper strike force. The Reapers create them specifically from Asari with active or latent predispositions to becoming Ardot Yakshi, a rare neurological condition that enhances the Asari's biotic power while causing the immediate death of anyone she mates with. Lumbering as though in constant pain, the emaciated Banshees are surprisingly durable opponents. Yes! They are devastating biotics, able to hurl lethal balls of energy and create shock waves as they regenerate. What Alliance military finds most disturbing is the Banshee's ability to spawn her own warp field and seemingly teleport during combat. Yes! Although their whales have no apparent physiological effect, the psychological impact is undeniable. Yes. When Banshees die, their Ardot Yakshi genetics twist against them, causing a biotic implosion to ensure they evade capture. Oh, does it explode? It implode? So I should stay away from it when it dies? Okay, that's actually good information to know. Oh man, I, uh, I don't even... Okay, we can get rid of the shield quickly, but the armor... ED... ED overload might be the best bet here. How do I control... Oh, just now when I did that, Edie's skill changed. I'm just not sure what controls what skill goes in the little quick slot there. That's all. And uh, Samara, you might have to have, like, you know, mental preparation. In ways more than one. And 
These are all biotics here. Oh. Mother, you came. Oh God, thank God. As soon as I was able. Shepard, this is Falaire, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are our Adyakshi. They have Mother, been... they have Rila. What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... into those... monsters. Please, you can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. Then we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? What, didn't you come to rescue people? I did. We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Falaire. You sound like the Commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Falaire? I'm sorry. Falaire! The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. We'll meet you there. Please be swift. I wonder if using biotic powers excessively in any way exacerbates the whole Ardak Yakshi condition. Hmm. Oh, Rila, I don't... I don't have a good feeling. I always saw Justicars as kind of being like monks and nuns, but it's not really like that, especially in terms of like family relations, huh? Because she, Samara definitely still views Rila and Falaire as her daughters, and she's coming to rescue them. And they still recognize her as their mother, too. Jethra, this is Galay. I've blocked extranet access. We don't need the students panicking about these Reaper rumors. Still, it will not hurt to tally our supplies. Please bring me an inventory before evening prayer. I'll contact Sessi later tonight to inquire what set the Asari to war. Go in peace. It is not a rumor, matriarch. Oh my god. Not, oh, not stasis, Liara! Singularity! That works too, though. Got it. Oh god. Even the cannibal has a barrier! Can you get him? Got it. Well, there's more. Where, where, where? Where? Okay. Disciple. Looks interesting. Uh, continue for now. Oh no, 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 no. Man, all they wanted was peace here. Leave the Ardak Yakshi alone. <laughs> the nice ones, anyway. I mean, sure, we have people like Morinth who are mass murderers, but the rest of them were very... They, were, they just wanted to live quietly, away from people where they can't hurt people. And now you do this. Jethra, I had the new girl put in the holding chamber. The Jessica who brought her to us, Jessica Fora, said she had trouble convincing the prisoner coming to the monastery was necessary. This may explain why the girl lashed out at her guards. She's lucky Fora wasn't here for that. The Jessica's code would have demanded an execution. I'll question some other Jessica's on the level of coercion Fora is permitted to use by the code. This isn't the first time her captures arrived here, terrified out of their wits, but it certainly will be the last. 
Hmm. Yeah, some other Jessicars are very no-nonsense, I guess. Jethra. I looked over this year's candidates for supervised visits to Thessia. I'm approving everyone but Yanis. She's impulsive, cunning, and worst of all, a romantic. Find me a worse combination to let outside our walls. I find it suspicious she was even nominated. Let's look into that, and pray it's not Yanis manipulating another infatuation. It takes a great deal of time and effort to persuade Thessia's government to let our best students visit their own homeworld. Unless Yanis matures, she won't be among them. Is that the same girl? Hmm. Disciple? Oh, Edie, do you want like a... Oh, the Talon was the one I gave you, that's right. The one we picked up before. Like that. And then... Do you want to try the Disciple? Oh, was that not a... I thought it was a pistol, but it's not. That's fine. That is fine. Okay, now, I'm pretty sure... Yes, doing this means I gotta put back on my armor. That's where I went wrong last time. I haven't used my shotgun in a while. Mm. I don't really want to be close to those banshees, though. Those are pretty scary. You as well. Oh god, oh god. Right away. Maybe get the other ones first so we can focus on the one guy? They move so fast! Got it. Got it. Wait, wait! I'm losing sight of where I'm standing here. Oh god. The other guys. Edie, you're a little bit close. We were drawing fire away from everybody, I suppose. Oh, Edie! Oh God. No, we gotta, we gotta have her keep distracting. I know I'm not using warp, but <laughs> throw comes back faster. Oh! Oh, there's more. Oh, there's definitely more. Oh, oh god, what what what? I'm on it. No 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 We good? I'm on it. I'm on it. Thank you, Liara. No. There's more! Oh my god. I could do without seeing those banshees ever again. They are not a regular unit. They're like... Freaky. I don't like them. <laughs> In case if it wasn't clear enough already. I don't like them. It's a really pretty place here, actually. If it's daytime and brightly lit and all that. So maybe not right now. There's stuff in the middle. Oh god. I found another Asari commando, also deceased. Falaire and her sister may be the only survivors. Yes. I was unsure if it was appropriate to broach the subject. Thank you, Edie. 
But don't spare my feelings. It's better to know. I don't know what state Rila is in right now, though. That's a bit worrying. What? The bomb appears intact. So does Falaire. Rila. Rila, wake up. Falaire. Rila cannot hear us. Look, she's still alive. I know, but I am afraid Rila is not well. Rila's not one of them yet. She can't be. She just needs to wake up. Have a quick look around. All they wanted was some peace. Some peace and quiet. Oh, Samara, I'm so sorry. Another daughter. But she's not dead yet. That might be a problem. Rila? Uh, Rila, can you hear me? Oh no. <gasps> oh! No! Why did she do that? Because they've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? The explosives require a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. No. Later. Right away. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, there's two of them! There's two of them! Oh my god! This is not happening. This is not happening. This is not happening! Ah! Oh. I can't even hide in one spot because these guys are... Oh. I'm sorry, just give me a sec, alright? This is a little bit much. Got it. Oh, the shields are coming back, I think. We gotta hurry up. Got it. There's multiple of them. Yo. I'm on it. One, we gotta kill at least one. Okay, okay, okay. No! Oh, it's homing. It is homing. Samara's too busy for us. We gotta get rid of the shields. Oh, the barriers are down. Like, this one is a little bit whittled down. We gotta just hold on. Right away. No ammo! Doing it now. You are joking me. There's a mech right here! Oh, That's the last one. good job, guys. For now, let's get back to that bomb. 
I think you did all that without me. I was still looking for ammo and <laughs> walking around and stuff. They were standing next to the ammo. Ugh. Falaire, go! Take the elevator! Rila, what, what are you doing? It's too late for me. There are hundreds coming. Just go! Oh. Move! No! Rila! I love you. Rila! Samara doesn't even have anything to say. Oh, those banshees almost look pregnant. Which is a little bit odd considering how they come from Artagyakshi. Your slaves. Oh. Say goodbye. There rarely is. Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Valer, the code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no what? longer exists. What are you doing? Are you serious? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valer. Mother, no! My daughters. Oh! You were all so much strong. Crazy woman! Let... Go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Mm. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. God, sometimes the Justicar code is like even more restrictive than Edie's programming. Isn't that sad? Does the Justicar code really have to be something so rigid that you would have to kill yourself? Kill yourself or kill your daughter? One of these. Really? Ugh. Oh, God. Mmm, but you're the matriarch here and all the people, the supervisors are all, are all gone. It's just you. That doesn't seem like... Yeah, I mean... Samara's a very strong sorry though. It would be a great help, but I, I, <sighs> they've been apart for so long, and 
with the Reapers coming, who even knows what's gonna happen tomorrow? I'd understand if you wanted to help Valer rebuild a home here. It must wait now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Valer, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. Yeah, it's just a car code. Super strict. Can't even help your own daughter. Oh. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. Haha. -ha. 